Hello. Okay, so in the previous video, um, a lot of people were asking me how to get the data to practice the the coding, right? So actually, you can simulate a data uh, in Python and then use it for your machine learning algorithm practice. Okay. So basically, in this video, I'm showing you how to simulate data in Python so that you can use it to uh, practice your machine learning skills okay so um to start you first open jupyter notebook so i'll open my terminal i'll open my terminal here if you don't have jupyter notebook and you have anaconda you can just search jupyter notebook okay and then it will pop up and then you can just open it but i'm using the jupyter the new version of uh, python so i'll search jupyter uh, Jupyter notebook and hit enter and then this is going to open in my browser right so as you can see here my Jupyter notebook has opened okay okay so um, what we need to do is to open a new Python Python pay kernel here right so when it is open now we first need to import some libraries before we can um, simulate our data okay so um the first library we need is numpy so that it can it can be helpful in numerical operations okay so we will import numpy as np okay right then we also need um pandas library okay so that it will help us in our data manipulation that's maybe when we want to download our data then get the csv file okay so we import um, pandas as pd okay okay so after after simulating the data we would like to see some graphs right some plots in the data so we will need matplotlib so that it will help us with our data plotting okay so we will put a math plot lib um, dot pi plot dot pi plot as uh, let's say plt okay plt right so um right now we have our libraries to go on with our data simulation okay so we will just hit control enter to run this particular cell right okay so uh, it is done running so we can open a new a new line to start with our data simulation so and um, to start with the data simulation um, there's something we called um, random.c it's a numpy uh, library right a random dot c that is maybe we want to maybe we want to run the code over and over again and then get the same uh, results for the data set okay so uh, we set a seed for reproducibility okay so we say we import it from numpy np dot uh, random dot seed right and then we set it to zero okay so with this particular code, when you run the code over and over again, you are going to get the same values. If you want to get different values, then you can simply ignore the random.c. Okay. Okay. So it is done running. So let's move on. And the next thing to do is to uh, specify our parameters for our independent variables. Okay. So let's say we want some independent variables and we want some maybe target variable. So we have to specify our independent variable. To specify that, we need the mean, then the standard deviation for, for the variables, okay? So in this particular tutorial, I'm showing you, we are using uh, only two independent variables, okay? You can use more than two independent variables, depending on maybe the independent variables you like. So um, to specify the mean and then the standard deviation, let's say the mean, we we name the mean as let's say 
mean of x1 okay x1 is the first independent variable so you can use a, any name like maybe uh, sunshine or something like that so x1 is the mean for the first variable and then we specify the standard division as the std of what the first variable okay okay so when we are done what we said the mean and the standard deviation so what values are you using so i am using a random number so you can just specify depending on um, the data you want to see okay so i'm saying that the mean is zero and then the standard deviation is one for the first variable so let me specify the second variable so you can just copy i just copy this and then we paste it here right but then we have to change the variable names to x2 x2 so what is the mean for the second um, independent variable so let's say the mean is five and then let's say the standard deviation is two so remember you can use any number okay you can use any number this is just a data simulation we want the data to uh, practice our machine learning algorithm so when we are done um, setting our parameters for the independent variable, we need the size. How many data sizes do you want? Or how many rows do you want, basically? Okay. So we say that you call it the size. Okay. So what is the size? So let's say I am saying I have I want hundred rows or maybe thousand rows. So I am saying I have I want hundred rows. Okay. You can change it if you like. So I am saying that I'm using a hundred like one hundred rows that is the number of samples to generate okay so i have specified my independent variables and then there's and then the sample size to to generate so i'll just hit control enter and it will run and let's open a new line so what else do we need <clears throat> we have to generate uh, those samples okay for the independent variables all right so what is x1 it said x1 right so let, let's generate the x1 from the let's say from the normal distribution so we are saying that maybe the first independent variable um follows a normal distribution okay so we are going to import from a uh, numpy okay so np dot random model random sorry it's in np dot random uh, dot normal we are using a normal distribution okay okay so if it's a normal distribution what is the mean we specify the mean here right that is mu mu x1 right okay and then what is the standard deviation we stated is that std x1 right and then what is the size as we specified here so you can just uh, type size here okay since we we have assigned the the sample size to size okay all right so um we are done with the first variable so we need the second variable too okay so we just copy this and let's paste it here and then change the variable names to x2 change here to x2 then change here to x2 so let's run this code all right so we've generated the, the we've simulated the the values for the independent variables okay so don't worry we are going to see like the numbers of that um, for, for that variables okay so as time goes on so here let, let's 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 specify the dependent variable you see in regression to know the dependent variable you need some you need some coefficients of the independent variables okay to get your dependent variable so if you don't know the linear linear regression equation you can just google it and then check it it's not something difficult right so let's specify the parameter for the for the dependent variable all right so to get the dependent variable we need the beta naught okay so let's say we call our beta naught b 
uh, not here okay and then let's say the beta not is what two i'm just using any random numbers okay and then we need the beta one the beta one is the coefficient of the first independent variable okay so let's name it b1 and what value should we use let's say three and then we need the coefficient of the second independent variable okay so let's call it uh, b2 b2 and then let's say the, the number to use is four okay all right so we have this and then to get a, a realistic a realistic data okay we need some noise in our data set okay so that we will see that maybe our data looks our data looks kind of realistic because it okay so we will set our noise the standard deviation of the noise let's say we call it as noise std and then we say the standard deviation is one okay all right so remember the coefficients of the the coefficients of the independent variable will tell you the relationship between the dependent and then the independent variable so take notes here okay so let's run this and then open a new line all right so here we need our sorry so here let's let's generate our noise for the dependent variable okay so we, all, we also generate the noise from the normal distribution okay so let's call it the noise is uh, numpy np dot random uh, normal right random dot normal okay then we are saying that the mean is zero and then uh, the standard deviation is noise uh, std right as we specified it here all right okay so what is the size we specify the size here which is what size great so here we've decided we, we've, we've generated our noise we've not run it here so let's run it we have generated our noise for the dependent variable right okay so here let's generate our independent our dependent variable okay so let's call our dependent variable y okay and then what is y is beta naught right y is beta naught sorry i'm i'm using the numbers i don't want to type them again over and over again okay so beta naught let's say the relationship is positive so plus beta one uh, beta one times x one you see is the coefficient of the x one so times x one right and then plus um the beta two that's the coefficient of the second independent variable times the independent variable x two sorry x2 right and then let's add our noise to it plus what was the name of the noise is noise right so we just spell it noise here great so let's run this oh, sorry i think there is an error um let me see let me see oh sorry sorry it's x1 not x underscore one and x2 yeah so let's run it yes so we have our we have our dependent variable and then our independent variable so what we have to do is to create a data frame to hold the independent and then dependent variable okay so to do that let's call the data frame data and then what you have to do is to use pandas pd dot and data frame okay and then let's say um the let's say the x1 okay 
the x1 variable we have here um, this x1 here we are assigning this x1 to a variable name let's say x1 okay x1 you can change it if you if you want and then let's assign the variable name x2 to x2 okay so it will be like we are not changing anything x2 to x2 right x2 okay and then what is our um, dependent variable which is y okay um, remember we are remember we are creating a data frame to hold the dependent and the independent variable so you have to specify both the independent variable and then the dependent variable here so we are calling the dependent variable y okay now let's close it here okay so now we have our data frame so we can check how our data looks like okay so to do that we can simply use um, data.head okay data.head to view the first if you if you use data.head it is going to print the first five rows of your data for you okay so let's run this one and as you can see we have the first five rows of the data okay so this is your first independent variable and this is your your second independent variable and this is your dependent variable okay great okay so maybe you would like to uh, download your your data okay so if you want to download your data um you will simply use let's say data because that's the name we use for that's the name we use to to hold the the variables okay so you use data dot to uh, data dot c data dot to csv okay to csv and then you have to um, specify what name do you want to use for your data so let's say i want to use uh, simulate simulate is my data okay dot csv i want to store it as a csv file now let's set the index i will explain it to you um after after i'm done coding let's set the index to false okay right so when we set the index to false it is going to print it is going to print the data in this form okay when you set it to true it is going to print another column for you and then list the column zero one two three like like that so it is very important to note this okay all right so um here let's 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 print let's run this code so with this one when you go to your home right here when you go here you are going to see this data here which means you've saved this data as a csv file okay so let's let's go and check if we have the data here we can see we have it here right simulate.csv as we have the name here okay right so maybe if you want to start coding your machine learning algorithms then you would have to um import the data okay so let's say we are we are using the name data one to import that data so we have to use pandas pd dot um, read csv csv and then what is the name of the data it is what uh, simulate dot csv just copy and then paste it here right so we are okay so we specify the data here okay now let's let's check if it is indeed our data so let's view a portion of the data data dot head to see if it is indeed our data so as you can see we have the same data here okay then you can continue coding your machine learning algorithms okay 